Uh, is there any test you can perform to determine if a horsehair sporin is actually made from real horsehair? What should you look for when you're buying one? Can you tell from the picture on the website to make sure you're actually getting real horsehair, a real horsehair sporin versus nylon filament? Nylon. Yeah. Yeah. Um, they're basically horsehair sporins are made from real horsehair. Um, there's also imitation horsehair sporins that are made from effectively weed whacker cord, nylon monofilament. Um, they're, those are much less expensive. The, the easy way to test it is a burn test. Yeah. Um, take one single strand of hair and, you know, carefully burn the end of it and then blow it out. If it blows out easily, if it turns to ash, and if it smells like burning hair, it's horse hair. Ta-da! If it crackles and balls up into a hard black ball, and it's a little bit tougher to extinguish, and you get black smoke, um, and it smells like burning plastic, then it's monofilament. There you go. Um, the second thing that I would say, uh, a way to just an easy way to tell, what's the price? Is it a four hundred dollar sporin, or is it a hundred and fifty, two hundred dollar sporin? If it's in the $150, $200 range, it's probably either not real horsehair or not real well made. Yeah, um, both. <clears throat> the, the pictures you gotta be a little bit careful with because there are some yep. less than reputable companies, shall we say, um, who will just take good quality horsehair pictures and then put it on their website because it looks like that. Therefore, yep. we're gonna use you know, the picture from this sporn maker over in Scotland, we're gonna take his photo, steal it, put it on our website, and sell it as the same thing because it's close enough, right? Um, mm. But oftentimes it's not. So the old adage of if it's too good to be true, it probably oh, is. Yeah. That holds true for the most part with all Highland wear. Yeah, I was gonna say that what you just described about the, the photo piracy, that's true throughout the industry. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot, you really gotta, I mean, anybody who shops on Amazon has run into that with anything they buy. You know, it's like, you know, oh, it looked great in the pictures, yep. and turns out you get it, and it's a rumpled mess. And it, but it's especially, especially hard uh, in the Highland wear industry. Yeah. And the utility kills industry. Oh yeah. The whole yeah. There's there's oh, lots of there's lots of knockoffs. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, yeah. Uh, test if you do get one, or if you're inheriting one, or it's a gift or something like that, you've got the thing in your hands. Do the burn test. Yeah. So. Yep. Yep.